Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And tonight, tonight I'm taking a look at this. This is the Smartio, Smart, Smarto, Smart something, SC92. It, I needed a, a temperature monitoring system for my solar setup. And I have a temperature set up for my cellar. Like we have a cellar where we store canned goods and well, I've made a video on that long ago, but that sensor's kind of gone bad. So I was looking for something that would fill the need and wouldn't you know it, I came across this thing here. This is a sensor that reads relative humidity, temperature, and that's cool, but it also has the ability, and this is why I picked this one out, to read up to three different sensors. So it's gonna work awesome. I'm gonna have this just sitting inside the house I'm going to have this one here in the garage. I'm going to have that one there out in the solar box that's got the battery and stuff in there. And I have this one in the cellar. So I'm going to have the ability to check out temperatures in various locations, not just like indoor and outdoor, but the fact that I'll be able to check out and make sure, hey, you know, because there are some times when it gets down below zero that I start to worry about the cellar. It, it, it's not built entirely correctly. So while it does provide a lot of heat differential from the outside when it gets down below you know negative five negative ten it i start to get worried you know i have a heat lamp out there that usually takes care of that problem but i certainly don't want to run a heat lamp if i don't have to so having these sensors here and for the lithium ion battery uh, charging below freezing is a big no-no so again i want to have a sensor in there with that battery so this little setup just looked like it was going to work perfectly so let's go ahead and open it up and i'll show you what we got here and now the regular kit just comes with, um, oh, hold on a second, the regular kit just comes with the one sensor, obviously you had to buy these separate. There we go. Extended warranty information, a nice instruction manual here, full color, that's always cool. Right on. And then our main unit, okay, it's cool looking. All right, so battery powered. We're gonna run it off of, looks like, two double A's. And then there's some controls back here. Nice color screen here. And it does come with the one sensor, and that is also battery powered. Let's see here, how does that come off? There we go. And so another two double A's for there. So double A power, and you can see the sensor here and here. So I like the fact it's got little hooks, hang it up wherever I need it. So let me grab some batteries. And uh, I'll go ahead and unbox, just in case these are any different. They shouldn't be. Nah, they're the same. Right on. So I'll go ahead and get uh, some batteries for this thing, and we will get this set up and see how well it records. Stay tuned. All right, I've got batteries and everything. And set up, to, you know, obviously the, this comes with just one sensor, and it's set to channel one. Adding these other two sensors was super straightforward. If you look... Inside of here, there's a little switch to give it selection one, two, or three. So I've moved one to two and one to three. It does have a Celsius versus Fahrenheit adjustment if you want to make there. And then on here, you see, there's it is. I have it set to number two. There's a little channel up and down button here. And that's going to allow me... Oops, am I pressing the right button? There we go. <laughs> there's one, there's two... And there's three. So it's showing us all of that there. It's really, really nice. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and place these now. I'm going to put them together. I'm going to hang them up in the different spots. And we'll see what kind of range we have here because it does look like it has a little range button. One more thing I wanted to show before I hung this last one up is uh, that the sensors, if you can see that, they actually have a nice little readout right on them. So you can look at it and tell the temperatures, which is I think is kind of a cool feature I didn't realize. The last unit I had did not have that. So it's, it's an independent thermometer, just temperature gauge, just sitting wherever you want it to be. This uh, it seems fairly accurate, humidity level and, uh, and Fahrenheit reading there. So I'm going to go ahead and hang that and we'll take a look at the other two. All right. So we've got it in here inside the house and I'll just go right through them. Oops. As you can see, it kind of rotates through them. Just give it a little bit of time. I like that too, it just kind of cycles through it. Hopefully you can see that, I'll move it a little closer, there we go. Very cool, very cool. So a huge upgrade from the single unit that I had that didn't have the external reading, didn't have but one sensor, so really like that. I think that really came out pretty cool. So yeah, I gotta say I'm happy with it. It was an inexpensive thing off Amazon, and uh, if you're interested or need something like this, 
I gotta say, it looks like it's working fine for right now. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Take care.